Hello people. This is another technique. This time it's not military technique but just normal. We had a, a tennis court at home but everything fell into the water when they drafted me into the army in South Africa. So this is Lacoste. Uh, tennis. Racket is my old one. I, I'm just going to show you the technique. And um, here's the ball. Eh? So this time it's not like this, you know. But I can I can tell you though that the um, what happened in uh, in New Zealand. I saw the image. You know, normally you you keep a rifle like this, but the guy he was keeping it like this. So you know, with the uh, like a video game, it's not possible. He had a camera here. You can't see it with your left hand here, it should be the right hand. I made a video about it, but Foktube took it off. But anyway, this is about tennis. The thing is, what I want to show you is, if you use your right hand, everything is diagonal in a sport. You have to stand on your left hand. It's the same with boxing. If you hit somebody eh, who deserves it, ace we say, you stand on your left leg and you hit right. It's always diagonal. So if you want to do a, um, a service, oh, well, it's not a good, it's not a good thorough ground, eh? Okay, you do a little bit like this, you relax because it's important. Um, you do it like this, I forgot the name of it, it's what ch children do, you know, like, you know, sitting on a sting, and I forgot the bloody name, uh, Le Balançoire in French. Uh, you know, going like this. this. This is the name of it. If you don't do it, you, you won't get into the game, right? So you do it like this, on your left hand, because you're going to hit it. And then you, when you throw it up, you have to be on your right leg, because you're going to use your left hand. So it goes completely automatically. You don't have to concentrate. You go like this, and you go back, and it goes automatically, and you're going to hit it, and you stand on your left hand. So it's like this, left right left and then you can concentrate then you're in the games because you don't want to use too much concentration for this you need it in the game so you go this is a prince here nice one prince prince of darkness maybe so you go left right and hit it and go left and you're in the game and it's very important come here come here it's very important that this is not too hard. It's like ping pong, you know, if you hit the, um, this is technique, you know, to get the ball up. Ground is not good. If it's too hard, because you want to do a top spin, it won't stuck, it won't stick in into the, the, the tennis racket, eh? Just like uh, ping pong. Because if you give it a top spin, it goes down. Otherwise, and like this, it stays long and it goes up, you know, because the ball is spinning, eh? it goes down. So you need a, everybody, I'm a tennis player, I play rough, you know, I need it really hard, you know. That's wrong. You need it really as soft as possible so it really sticks into it and you can make a good spin in it. Only if the time is there for the service, um, some people, they usually take a really hard tension on it and you don't hit it like this you hit it like this you know so if you if you do this service you hit it like this and not like this you, because you're not getting anywhere you know it's going up and you you, do, you miss it if you just hit it like this so it's just a stupid game i give you the technique i could have I was a real good tennis player actually, and they all fell into the water. I like to analyze things, you know. Just like in my films about the Templars and everything, it's all about information. It's not about muscles, it's only about information. It's not about muscles and, you know, like this, you know. It's about the information. Right? That's the most important thing. And the same with tennis. The information is the technique. It's not about muscle, have a hard tension and just, you know, go, you know. You have to use this one here. This is the only way you get, we can get out of this whole problem, you know. So, you know, people who believe in a God, you know, maybe there is a God. I'm quite convinced that there is a creation because, 
you know, look at the trees here and everything. It can't just pop out just out of nothing. There's a, a concept behind it, but I don't know who did it, you know. But anyway, if there is a God, he has absolutely no power over this earth. He's hoping, his only hope to save the creation is that finally humanity stop this lethargical um, dogmatism and stand up and do something because humanity is, the, is his only hope to save this creation. It's all about here, folks. Use your brain. Don't believe all the fairy tales and don't believe all the, um, uh, the religious hocus pocus or what you see on TV. This is just a stupid game, you know. And you think, you know, all these tennis players, you know, they are the man, you know. They just got the technique of the pharaohs. They're probably all pharaohs. And we're looking at it, they get millions and millions. Oh, he's the man, you know. But he's not, you know. He's just got the technique, you know. They've worked on it for a long time and it's only about technique. So we want to save this world, it's only about technique. Okay, that was it, folks. Stand up. So, stand up and get your service going, eh? Humanity is going to service now. Okay. Do something. That's it, folks.